Ladies and gentlemen, journalists, my dear compatriots, it is with great conviction and great responsibility that I address you this evening. Following the announcement of the decision taken by the government of the Republic of Chad concerning the breach of the military cooperation agreement between our country and France. Indeed, for several decades, Chad and France have maintained cooperation in several sectors, especially in the military domain. This breach concerns only the military cooperation agreement in its current configuration. This agreement had been signed at another time with other actors on both sides and in a different context. It aimed to meet the common challenges of another national, regional, and international framework. However, over time, this agreement has become obsolete, completely obsolete. It no longer corresponds to the geopolitical and strategic realities of our time, nor to our legitimate expectations in terms of the full expression of our sovereignty. In the same way, it brings us no real added value on the military ground when we face various and serious challenges, notably attacks of terrorist dimensions, national and regional security challenges, in front of which our forces of defense and security have been illustrated by a never-denied valor and an indisputable determination. They have demonstrated, proven, every time this is necessary and everywhere they have been deployed, that they are more than capable of defending the integrity of our territory and ensuring the security of our citizens, as well as contributing effectively to the fight against terrorism on a regional scale. Now they are called upon to integrate the new gift from the rupture of this over-the-year agreement, which in concrete terms does not change anything at all. On the contrary, the rupture of this agreement must generate, at the level of our forces of defense and security, more commitment and more concentration to better defend the integrity of Chad and ensure the security of its citizens. Dear compatriots, this decision was not taken lightly and results from a deep reflection and a thorough assessment. It responds to a prior commitment to the Chadian people. Through my project of society, I have put into practice the promise of building reciprocal and balanced relations with our brotherly country in a spirit of independence and respect for the sovereignty of the states. As a sovereign state, strong in its 66 years of march since the proclamation of the Republic, Chad is fully entitled and even obliged to freely define its international relations, to choose the forms of cooperation it wishes to have, and to conduct its policy of defense according to its priorities. We have also decided to put an end to this military cooperation to reorient our partnership with France on areas that will have a positive impact on the daily lives of our respective populations. In addition, this decision is based on several factors. 
among which I cite the absence of reciprocity. The French military presence in Chad is not based on a reciprocal basis. Chad must no longer accept others. What is not accepted by others is the sacred principle of reciprocity. There is a need for reparation. It is now essential for Chad to repair the imperfections in its international relations, to choose in all independence the forms and partners of its international cooperation according to its national priorities. Strengthening our capacities. This structure is part of our will to build a Cadian army with all its responsibilities, more autonomous, more committed, and more responsible in accomplishing its regal mission of defense of the country. My dear compatriots, men of the media, I would like to point out to remove any ambiguity that this decision of repatriation does not constitute in any case a rejection of international cooperation or a question of our diplomatic relations with France. We remain open to constructive exchanges with all our partners, including France. And this is in order to establish new frameworks of cooperation based on universal principles that resist international relations. In addition, we reaffirm our firm commitment to continue the fight against terrorism and will strive to contribute to regional security in close collaboration with our neighboring countries and all the nations that share these concerns. Chad will continue to play its role and to occupy its place in the initiatives of strengthening peace and security on the African continent in particular and throughout the world in general. However, our absolute priority remains the protection of our people and our territory. I invite you, ladies and gentlemen, to take this decision in its appropriate context. It is about strengthening our sovereignty to rethink our international relations and to assume our responsibility in building a sustainable peace, both in Chad and within our region. We will continue to work with all our partners in the spirit of mutual respect we call on our allies to support our approach and to support Chad in consolidating its capacity for defense and security. To conclude, the government is instructed to proceed with the implementation of these decisions by working closely with the French party. To conclude, ladies and gentlemen, dear journalists, dear compatriots, this rupture of the defense agreement with France is part of a necessary reevaluation of our strategic priorities. Chad is not at all in a logic of replacing one power with another, even less in an approach of change of leaders. Our country strongly believes in its capacity to defend its integrity and to ensure the security of its citizens and their well-being. This decision is therefore a sovereign act, a well-thought-out act, a fully assumed act, aimed at strengthening our national independence and at responding to a strong commitment to the people of Chad. I therefore invite you to convey this message to the national and international community in a spirit of patriotism and professionalism. May God bless you. May God bless Chad, the country of Tuma, the cradle of humanity. Thank you.